Okay, well, hey everyone, it's Frasix here, and this video is gonna be different, as in I'm not gonna be reacting or vlogging or anything of the sort. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about something that came up lately and that I've actually been thinking about like for the past month or two and I don't know I just feel like this is more just going to be like a kind of informative slash rambling kind of video so there's some information here that will affect this channel for sure but it, you guys don't have to watch all of it if you guys don't want to um I understand that um but if you guys do um I guess I'll just go ahead and say it. I don't know if I'm going to really edit this video or not or if I'm just going to post it all in one go because I just like to talk because apparently you guys really responded well to my last rambling video so I appreciate you guys for that even though I was just totally just probably made a fool out of myself but I mean like you guys really like when I talk to you so hopefully this video will kind of do the same thing in a way. First off, I I appreciate you guys. Like whoever's following me, whoever's watching this, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have really made my life and my YouTube kind of passion worth it in a way. Cause I keep on making videos. Like I, I, I like to make videos more so for myself, but now that I realize that there are some people out there that actually want to watch me for me and my reactions and my vlogs and everything like that like I never really had that growing up like never I never really no one really wanted to like I didn't think that anyone was going to be interested in what I was putting out into the world um until some people started messaging me like in private private messaging me like on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or stuff like that they and I really made some good great connections with people through My YouTube and it's crazy to think that all this happened just because I tried to put myself out there more and Someone wanted to talk to me and I really appreciate that and I also got over 2,000 subscribers recently, which I didn't expect myself to do it all like I didn't expect it to happen at all, so I appreciate you guys for that. I was going to make a video about that slash making a about me video because I haven't done one of those in a while, but I didn't really like how that turned out, so I'm not going to upload it or I'll probably upload it like way later than I thought I was going to. Um, so watch out for that. But alongside me making videos, I guess like the thing is that I'm assuming a majority, like 95, 97, 98 percent of you guys watching this or that are subscribed to me are here because of a reaction video that I did or something of the sort. Um, whether that be through like Ariana, Selena, Taylor, just Katie, like just anyone really. I like I understand where most of my followers are coming from and how I'm gaining them like I'm not oblivious to that like this that's why I react that's why I do these things because even though I do like to react I also do want to get my name out there in a way just so people know who I am just so I can be in a way more motivated to do anything because in all honesty like it's cool that I'm getting like paid and stuff you know for the ads and everything and revenue and stuff like that but I honestly could care less like I don't even have my bank routed to my account that's how much I don't care even though I have made a good amount of money from it I I haven't gotten it because I really don't care I just care about my phone so just putting my name out there and trying to make a name for myself which is kind of ironic since I'm making a name for myself by using other people's names which I guess it kind of sucks but that's the way life works I guess I don't know if there's a real correlation between that or not but anyways like back to the reaction things like I know that most of the people that are watching this is because of my reactions and you know I'm super thankful for that you know I'm super grateful that I can share how I'm reacting to the world because originally like 
I just reacted because people say I have an expressive emotional kind of face and like just I, I react to things in a certain way and I didn't really realize what they meant until like I put a camera to my face and I reacted to things or I tried to see myself through things if I recorded myself and that mostly came through music and other things that gave me joy like games or trailers or stuff like that and it's it's crazy just to see myself like at first I was just very taken aback because I was like wow I actually act like this I'm so embarrassing but I guess as I kept on recording myself and of course you know as you guys can see like and putting just putting myself out there in general I've definitely grown in a way I've definitely gotten used to how I react and I kind of know how I react to things. Sometimes it can be a little bit overbearing and cringy and I apologize for that so sometimes I have to tone it down a notch. But overall I, I just like to react to things that I like and I'm, I'm happy when I react to things that I like and apparently some people are happy that I'm happy and that's why they subscribe and they want to see me happy or are interested in more things and I get that you know like I used to be like that too I used to subscribe to a bunch of you know reactioners back in the day and you know to like whether it be for music or games or anything of the sort and I, I, I really cared about them and I really wanted just to see them be happy and genuine and satisfied with what they were reacting to. So I, I get that. But lately it's come to a point where probably even the end of last year, so probably December, but definitely this year, a few months back. I don't really know if there's a specific time or day or video or something, but I just started to kind of something shifted from me reacting to things out of enjoyment versus me reacting to things because I had to because people expected me to and because I knew that it would do really well viewing wise for the audience and I don't know there was just something that's changed in me and I couldn't help it like I couldn't like not stop doing it automatically because at that point I didn't even have like a thousand subscribers or anything I didn't really have a name for myself so I couldn't really do much at all actually I just had to just keep on doing what I was doing best and at the time the thing that was really keeping me afloat and giving me motivation was doing reaction videos like and not just reaction videos anytime just reaction videos right away because you know that's when people really are interested in a video so it's more so like premieres or premiere nights you know when it turns 12 o'clock on the east coast and uh, suddenly everyone in america has a song or the music video or whatever the album and like i have to more so react to it and act like i'm excited which i am excited but it's also like the thing that's in the back of my mind it's like I have to finish this as fast as I can so I can edit it as fast as I can so I can upload it as fast as I can so I can pull myself and then promote it on my Instagram and my Twitter as fast as I can just so people can watch it and respond to it and maybe subscribe or give it a like or two or something like that. So it became more of a, a chore. It, ah, and that's another thing too, my camera just ran out of storage space so it's, it's, it's just I don't know, it became more of, I think I left off with me saying that it was a chore and it was just really difficult for me to do and it became very strenuous and tedious and more of a stress than something that I was doing out of the funness of it just being fun and me being hyped about it. So, but I couldn't stop it and then I kind of got into a rhythm of it like, you know, like every Thursday night like I knew I had to do things which I guess was kind of cool because like it gave me something to look forward to and it still gives me something to look forward to I still have a bunch of things that are going to be released soon like you know like Katie's album and then uh, the Blackpink and Selena collab so I still have a lot of other things that are going to be in the future but it's it's just like to know like that's the only thing that's keeping me afloat and it kind of really also discourages me from 
putting things out there that I am interested in or that I want to put out into the world because it's kind of like I want to I never wanted to be a reaction channel and I'm not a reaction channel even right now even though like 90% of the things that I upload are like reactions to things. I am not a reaction channel. I, I don't define myself as a reaction channel. I just like doing reactions, but I also like doing vlogs. I also like posting reviews. I also just like doing whatever the heck I want. But the most of the views and most of the things that people pay attention to are not... They don't really care about me, they just care about the reaction, which I get, you know, you don't have to like care about me personally or anything. Like every time I click on a video, I don't really care about the person initially because it's just like, it's just a video and I understand that, but it's just every time like I think or I put my heart and soul into a project, whether it be like a video or a video essay or just a vlog or something, and I really am that brings me joy to like edit it and like share to the world and then for it to like have zero noise where no one watches it and it's like out of like the, the 10 previous videos it's like number 10 that was it's the least productive out of the other nine and it's just really discouraging and then like a video that I could give two shits about because I like whatever I'm reacting to but then like I don't really care about the editing and I think it's super sloppy and stuff and like that gets like thousands and thousands of views and I'm just like there's there's something off there's something that's not really sitting right with me I don't really think that's how it should be like it really hurts me in a way to think that something that I, I want to be successful isn't successful and something that I know it's gonna do mediocre does does well but it's something that I didn't really put as much time and passion into as like other things that I do so it's really I don't know I just didn't really like that and I still don't like it but there have been events lately that have kind of sh pushed me to one side of the fence and that is because a few days ago let me hold up let me just pull up some things okay hello I'm um, sorry that you're super zoomed in but I just want you guys to see this or what I'm talking about so if you look there is um okay there's Katie's smile song reaction right there then there's the All Things One Direction thing, which I personally enjoyed doing and I really liked. And I thought it was gonna do really well because it's like the 10 year anniversary of One Direction. It was super cool to like go back down memory lane and just, just like see all that. So it was, I thought it was gonna do really well, but it didn't really do that well at all actually. But anyways, and then you know, there was the Cardigan music video for Taylor and then the, the Folklore album, which you know, it did pretty well. And then, um, after, I don't know, I feel like around all these time, this time, it was like starting to, there, I felt like there was something off about what I was doing. And then, you know, there was the Lakes reaction for Taylor, which um, wasn't part of the actual album. I actually had to get the album and listen to it and react to it then which was super interesting to do, but um, I personally thought that the video for that, the way I edited it, the way I reacted to it was a mess, but apparently people really, really responded well to it. I mean, like it had, what, eight, oh, eight and 18 and a half thousand views, which is one of the highest that I've ever gotten on a video ever which I'm super thankful for, which I didn't expect at all. I thought I was gonna do normal, like maybe a few thousand, but to have 18,000, almost 19,000, that was crazy. And it was doing really well. And like, I was getting money from it cause it wasn't like demonetized or anything like that. So I was getting a huge amount of money from that, which was cool and stuff. And then, you know, I just did that, whatever. There was my friends, uh, song that I reacted to 
And then there was this day, which was August 13th. That was a stressful day. It was one of the most stressful days of, it was probably the most stressful day of my entire time that I've uploaded videos. And that is because I got back from work super, super early just to react to all of these things that I reacted to. Um, so I was really like tired from work and everything. So I come here, I just start, you know, mindlessly doing all these things that I'm used to doing, but I don't really have time to like set up or anything. So I just felt like super off. Like I kept on like panting and like not really talking properly. And I was getting super stressed out because, you know, again, I'm on that time crunch to put it out to the world and to really get myself out there. So of course I was going to be super stressed about it. And then I was, um, there's three videos that I'm basically talking about here. And that is, and that is the Katy Perry Smile Music video. There's the Levitating Remix from Dua. And then later on that night was uh, Midnight Sky by Miley. And that was, it was just really stressful because like, I don't really get blocked on anything really. The last time I got blocked was like my Thank You Next album reaction. But that was like the beginning of 2019. So it's been a while since I've actually gotten blocked on anything. So as you can tell, um, I didn't I didn't really expect for anything to get blocked. So I was like, okay, I always react to videos. I always react to songs. So nothing's going to happen. So then I released the smile and the levitating remix. Um, so I put them out and then they were doing fine and then I see that they get blocked and it, it was just like so hard hitting and I was just like so shocked because it was like literally one after the other it was like boom boom like blocked blocked and I was just I didn't know what to think of it like I, I didn't know what to do so like I tried to like re-upload them they still wouldn't work I was getting more stressed out because I was like I literally I literally put all this time and effort into making these videos that I was actually like I really enjoyed watching the smile music video and I kind of like the levitating remix and I still wanted people to like see it and I tried and it it was just super stressful and they were blocked so like I couldn't really do much about it so I was just like F it and then like later on that night I reacted to Midnight Sky by Miley and then I did all that effort and then when I uploaded it that got blocked as well and that really pissed me off because it was like three one after the other boom 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 and it was super I was super upset I was really really upset and stressed and angry because there were other people whose reactions were literally the same as mine I watched it they had the same you know like videos and everything that the same audio they, they, they basically showed the same thing and yet Mine got blocked and theirs didn't and they got the views and I just felt super robbed of my views and it, like I get it it's not about views or everything but it's still like it's it's more of like me proving that I actually did react to it and I didn't like I wasn't being lazy about it I wanted to show to my followers and just to everyone that I did put in the time I sacrificed time I sacrificed me like talking and editing and everything and editing takes longer time than most people realize and even like me talking like it, it really takes like a toll on me just to do this even just because like I just keep on talking and like I don't really know when to stop and like my voice gets super dry and I get it drink water but it's still like it's super consuming of just energy in general so just for me to have three blocked videos was just annoying super annoying and then the day after I tried reacting to the levitating remix music video and that got blocked as well and I like I don't I, I don't I really don't know like I, at that point I was just raging I was like are you effing kidding me are you like literally again all the time and effort that I put in to that video it it, it, it was for nothing basically so I was super upset about that and then I kind of forgot that I could like cut some parts out or you know mute some parts if if so you know when I try to edit the video 
just to see what's up and I can take away those copyright claims. So I had to do it for the, I could do it for the Levitating remix song and the Midnight Sky songs. I just had to like cut out a few things and, or mute a few things, which sucked because like, I feel like all my reaction, my full reaction is authentic, but I had to do what I had to do and it didn't really affect the reaction video that much overall. But for the Levitating Remix Music video and the Smile official video, I the only option that I had was essentially just to cut out any time the music video was actually playing. So it would have just been my intro and maybe like a second or two of the music video, me reacting to the music video, and then like literally the end. So basically it was just me like talking and not really reacting. So I did not want to do that at all. So that's why they're still blocked. I keep on trying to re-upload them. Same thing. I'm super upset. And then by the time I made these two public, like they were just getting like no noise at all. Even though they were doing like really well at the beginning before it got blocked, like they were getting the numbers real quick. And then like now it's just like it, I don't know, I just felt super robbed and like confused and stressed and I, I didn't know what to do. And then on top of that, um, I think it was like the 15th, so the day after the Levitating Remix music video, I got a notification and this was like the tipping point of me like making this video on me announcing it to you guys is because my Taylor Swift The Lakes reaction was removed and on top of that I got a copyright strike. My first ever on any of my YouTube channels that I've had in my entire life. I It was removed and I got a strike and if I get two more strikes they're basically just gonna take down my channel and that really just it literally, it felt like it was just like a punch to the gut. Like I, I felt like, let me try to zoom out because I feel like you guys are tired of seeing my face. Am I green? Anyways, so I just felt like really cheated and hurt. And like out of all the things, like they literally not, they, they could have literally just like been like blocked. Like literally, it was doing fine. There was like no indication that it was gonna get removed whatsoever. It was doing really well. There was it didn't even get blocked. It got freaking removed. Which I get that, you know, they have to do that. You know, I'm not really mad at YouTube. I mean I am mad at YouTube and, you know, whoever, but I'm not really mad at the same time. I get it. But it's still like to do all that and then like it getting removed and then on top of me getting all those like blockages on the, all those videos just really I was just like are you fucking kidding me it, it was just so stressful and I'm still stressed but at that point I guess it kind of like I got beat down enough from all those things where it just really humbled me in a way to kind of realize and readjust my thinking for and my goal for this channel and it kind of made me realize that, I don't know, let me switch back. But anyways, it kind of made me realize that like I'm not gonna stop reaction videos even though I know that's the clickbait thing that I use for this video. Like no, I'm not gonna stop reaction videos. I'm just, in a way I'm not gonna make them a priority anymore. Like I'll still react to things that I like because I like reacting to things especially for artists that I love like you know Katie's album soon or Selena or Ari or Taylor or whoever you know like I still love them so much and I want them to know how much I love them by reacting to them and hopefully they can see that one day so I'm not gonna stop reaction videos. I just want to put you know if I don't want to have this kind of fear or kind of like nagging in the back of my head that, you know, it might get taken down, I have to do the super fast, you know, timely, timely, timely things. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want that to be part of me because it, it takes the fun out of it. Like, and even though this is something that I love to do, like, I don't know, there's a saying, like, even though there's some, even though you do the thing that you love as a job or something along those lines, you'll still get tired from it or it'll 
be more of work than fun or work than hobby or something like that. And I don't want that to be my YouTube, whatever this is. I don't think it's going to be a career. I think it's just a hobby. So I don't want that to happen to this because I love this. I love talking to you guys. I just love editing. I love making videos, but I don't want to go out or get two more strikes within the next three months and then be basically canceled. Like, I don't want that to happen at all. So, I'm gonna be putting out more videos of myself and what I want to do. And that can be anything, really. I'm gonna try and get back into more vlogs, even though I can't really vlog much because, you know, it's still quarantine, things are so close. Things are starting to open up a little bit. And I can probably just, I don't know, I just want to do more vlogs. Probably just vlog myself, just talking, sharing some things about myself. I want to do these, um, like, more recipe videos because I've been really getting into recipe videos lately. And just cooking and baking and everything. I follow Preppy Kitchen, that's where I get most of my inspiration from. Um, so I'm probably going to try and do that and do these things called Tasty Tuesdays, which by the time I upload this will... Tuesday will be tomorrow, so I'm gonna, that's when I'm gonna post my first recipe for Tasty Tuesday, so watch out for that. But I also just wanna, you know, just talk. I just want to, you know, just do whatever the heck I wanna do with this channel and not just let it be defined as a reaction channel because I don't wanna be defined as a reaction channel. I don't wanna be defined as one thing. I want to show people that I'm more than I want to be because like I said I never had the intention of becoming specifically a reaction channel that's just what ended up and I was going good for it for a while the numbers were coming in but I was just so blinded by that that I didn't really focus on what I wanted to do and what made me happy so I guess that's what I am telling you guys now is that I won't stop the reaction videos I but I will try to do things that make me happy and that includes you know like I said vlogs or recipes or just facts about myself or just anything of the sort because I just want to make myself happy and enjoy what I upload and enjoy making videos because like for example I didn't want to make this video because I knew I was just going to be rambling a lot but I had to make it to prove my point and then I have to go edit it and stuff like that. And I get it that I have to do these videos every once in a while with whatever comes up, which sucks. But, you know, it's something that I still have to do. But then hopefully I can counterbalance it with things that I do want to do and do want to create and upload and everything like that. So hopefully you guys will understand. Um... I, and I don't know if you guys are gonna make this far, but hopefully you guys will understand and hopefully you guys will still Like me and still stay subscribed or something if you guys don't Stay with me or subs or if you guys don't follow me like I'll Totally understand. I'll, I'll be super bummed about it But I will still totally understand where you're coming from and I won't really hold it against you or anything like that so if you guys want to follow me, you guys can, but hopefully you guys will stick around because I, I would like to think of myself as a very interesting person. I do have a hard time opening up and talking to people, which I guess is why like I'm very comfortable around a camera because it's really just me talking to me and I love talking to myself in a non-weird way. But I do like kind of engaging with people and actually trying to make friendships and just connecting and just expanding my bubble outside of the world that I live in right now and I really enjoy it you know I've got to meet so many cool people not just from you know YouTube but mostly from YouTube but also like Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that so it's just really interesting how that you know kind of everything connects in a way and I really enjoy that and I really want that to be one of the main focuses of this channel so it's not going to really be a rebranding of sorts it's just going to be a different change in direction and i really hope that you guys will stay for the ride um hopefully you guys can see me grow and change and evolve as the years progress because it's almost the two-year anniversary of this channel in like december 1st even though i know it's 
August and it's still a few months away, but it's 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 still like crazy because like a year ago I didn't even have 100 subscribers and now I have 2,000. So hopefully with this change. Oh my god, and that's another thing. I just fucking hate this camera. I, I literally hate it so much. I, I wish I could just plug it in while I'm charging and I can just record and just do whatever, but I can't. It's a vlogging camera, so it's gonna have like portable batteries. It's not just something you can freaking plug in. And I'm too poor to afford another camera that can actually plug in. And I don't, I, I really don't know. And then, you know, the, the oh, I'm so stressed out. Fuck. Anyways, but yeah, I just, I don't know where I left off on. I really fucking don't know where I fucking left off on. But I'm just, I'm not going to cry anymore. I already did that on my, I already did that on my, my, my crying video, which I'll leave the link to that in the description if you guys want to check that out it's just me ranting about how i'm lonely which i am lonely but anyways new change in the channel a new shift a new direction i still do reaction videos um i but i do want to do more things that i want to do and hopefully you guys will you know support it promote it do whatever I just, I'm in a way, I'm kind of excited. I, I'm, I feel like it's gonna be a hard time adjusting. At least I'm not quitting YouTube, because you know the last time that a major art or a major YouTuber did that was Marcia, and like I was so crushed. Like I know that she still does stuff on Instagram, but I just loved her videos. Her videos were one of the reasons that I um kind of got into YouTube and stuff like that. And that's another thing because I want to make a video about Marcia and Felix or PewDiePie if you if you don't know who that is. Um, and hopefully I can upload that soon, probably on their one year anniversary of the time they got married uh, this week, but we'll see about that as well. But that's just what I'm talking about. Just things that, you know, are in a way kind of an unexpected that some people may not know about. Like I still want to put that out. And I'm trying to tell myself that views don't count because I know that they won't do well per se. Um, which in a way, like I feel like I'm gonna slowly be okay with. It might hurt at first, you know, because there might be a drastic difference between like, you know, all the videos I make, which are gonna be like probably like 20 views, 30 views, 10 views, and then there's gonna be a reaction video, and that's gonna be like a thousand views, and then it's gonna go after that, and it's just gonna be like another 10, 20, 30, and it's just gonna be super inconsistent. And I don't wanna make a separate channel and not for like my reactions, and I don't wanna make a separate channel for like everything else I do. I just want everything to be the same, coherent. I'll try not to get another copy strike, copyright strike, and I'm gonna end this because I feel like I do have to edit this because there's so many breaks and fuck this camera and just frick everything. I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot, but yeah, I'm just super stressed out as you guys can tell. I still have a lot more videos to make um, that I do plan to make that I actually want to do. So I'm really ex actually excited about that, that I can actually, actually take my time and edit it in the way that I want to edit it. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited about that. But um, if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I didn't really fix myself. Because um, I wasn't going to get my hair cut, but I'm going to get it cut tomorrow. Um, and it's mostly due to like how I want my hair to look during certain videos that I film. And uh, yeah. If you guys like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to follow me on my social media accounts just to keep up with whatever I do, or if you guys just want to talk to me, you guys can definitely leave a comment down below or just DM me through one of my social media links. And um, yeah, um, until the next time, uh, whatever video that I make, the wonder won't stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Boo.